What's up, my fellow developers, and welcome back to the Dev Shop. So we are on episode three of Daily O3D, where we look at the latest and greatest in the engine, see what the community is doing, what's being built, some of the features on GitHub. Overall, trying to see what's going on with the engine, the open source nature of that, and getting a better glimpse on how we're moving forward with O3DE as a whole. Real quick, if you guys want to support the channel, links for that are down in the description down below. I have my coffee page set up. We're going to have rewards and things of that nature that you guys can benefit from by supporting the channel. Definitely do give that a look. You can actually support as a one time thing or have a subscription based thing where you guys get rewards every month. We greatly appreciate it if you gave it a check out. And if you feel interested or feel the need to help out, please definitely do so. Also, I have been a partner with Humble Bundle for a while now, but I haven't been promoting their products. So I'm going to start doing that as another way to support the channel and to also give you guys uh, great looks at software or models or assets that can help you out in your video game journey. So right now they have a unity based bundle going on. But what I'm more interested in is the assets that you guys can use that can traverse over to O3D, such as models, sounds, artwork, things of that nature. So as usual, they have multiple tiers. The first tier you get sounds and models. The second tier is, is more of that 3D models for characters. You got artwork for UI. You have fantasy sound bundles, things of that nature. And the final tier is more of the same. So it gives you a nice starting point as to what you want to use as far as prototyping or even for your actual game. I definitely highly recommend it whether you're using Unity, Unreal, O3DE, Lumberyard, Godot, whatever the case. If you guys use my description down below, you will support the channel while getting a great set of assets at a low price that can help you in your game development journey. All right, let's get into this episode. All right, so right off the back, we have our GitHub. So we are now at about 900 plus issues, uh, which is crazy because we were just at 700 like last week, I believe. Uh, but that's a good thing. Uh, at a glance, it might not seem like it, but that is a good thing because the more issues that are being logged, the more feature requests or in case of the Amazon team uh, letting us know what features are coming, so this is like the terrain, uh, the better it is to know what is going on with the engine, whether it be for like roadmap stuff or looking at the issues, knowing what's coming and what's being worked on. As always, you can guys can go through the either the pull request or the issues themselves and see what has been closed, what's still open to kind of get an idea of what's being fixed, uh, what's being worked on. Don't forget that you can filter the issues. So if you want to look at all things terrain or all things, you know, the atom renderer or just look at look at bugs in general, uh, look at different SIGs like the content platform. Uh, you can do all that through the GitHub issues. That's very intuitive and it's very helpful when you're trying to suss out what's going on with the issues and the pull requests and the features and whatnot. On that topic, you guys know that we just got uh, access to the terrain and development branch. So if you're on the development branch, you now have some of the basic tools, the very, very bare bones tools to import like an image gradient that will simulate a terrain type map. I'll of course be making a dedicated video for this, but please understand guys that it is very, 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 very early. Uh, there's no way to simulate color data. Uh, physics doesn't work with the terrain. Certain tools like stamps and things of that nature are not included yet. So there's still a lot of work to be done. I believe uh, Mike, uh, shout out to Mike B on the Discord. I believe even the code that is that has the system up and running now isn't as efficient as it could be. So they are aware of a lot of issues. They are aware of the things that are missing, uh, the things that they want to add. You can even see those things on GitHub itself. If you guys have any questions, definitely reach out to the team. Uh, definitely reach out to some of the guys working on the tools on the GitHub. And yeah, just kind of see where the tool takes us. Just a quick mention, guys, do not forget that in October we have two events going on. We have our O3D con going on, and we also have our game jam going on. Um, I actually have a video coming out that will have us do like a manual release build, and they might have some tools by the time the actual game jam releases that makes it more automated. But uh, yeah, it's definitely possible to get that started for us so we're going to definitely be looking into that as far as what's going on with the community we have popcorn effects they just released i believe version 2.10 or version 2 of the editor but it should be 2. Dot, yeah 2.10 for the plugin came with a number of fixes different features that, I, that they added some optimizations i believe they did a live stream the other day that i partook in just kind of see what they were doing 
Uh, I believe that they now have particle lights as well. Uh, something is going on with meshes, even though uh, I asked the question to see if those meshes translated to the engine, which at the moment they do not, but they're more for like a visualization tool. So if you're trying to create an effect around a character and you need to see what it looks like for the animation, you can actually tailor that inside of the popcorn effects editor with your character and its animation to kind of see to have a to better visualize how you're creating that effect for that character so it's really really cool next up over there at the cesium community uh, one user actually was talking about the progress on getting 3d tiles rendered inside of the engine i believe another user i don't know if it's the same user actually made lieu of this to well not just to me but to the community on the discord about the work in progress for this and this is the official post that they are actually they actually have it up and running. So it uses CZM native and according to the post, it is an open source engine agnostic 3D tile in high precision geospatial library. It uh, makes it easier to add 3D tiles to our runtime engines. And that's something they got up and running within the engine. And I believe they generated a full city, it looks like, which looks amazing. I'm not sure how it looks at, you know, if it's a it looks like it's a one to one. But at ground level, that'll be something to see for sure, to see how cool it looks. So uh, they right now have a build on their GitHub, uh, a fork, sorry, rather, on their GitHub. And they're going to soon start implementing pull requests so that they can get it implemented into the engine. So that's something that we can actually play around with. So looking excited to try that out. It's going to be really, really cool. I will have links for those uh, two things for Popcorn Effects and the Cesium announcement in the description down below. As far as the channel goes, I did post a a poll to see what kind of full game series you guys wanted to go with first. Some people were asking about uh, FPS, but I end up making different offers. Uh, so the FPS, uh, a simple RPG, I think I did one that involves like lighting or continuing the AI series. And as far as I know, the little simple RPG idea is actually the one that has the most votes. So as far as I know, unless something changes in the next few days, I'm going to start with that one. And then I believe the FPS is next and then I'll go with other two and then we'll just go based off that. So definitely look out for that on the channel. But yeah, this was actually a pretty short one. Uh, I just wanted to get it a, a weekly video or bi-weekly video out with the O3DE so you guys know what's going on in the community. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Don't forget to join my Discord if you guys want to reach out to me away from YouTube. Also join the official O3DE Discord as well. You guys have kind of front row seat to the Amazon developers, to our third party partners, guys who are looking to start open source projects to kind of integrate with the engine. All that is being discussed over there on the Discord, so definitely join there. Don't forget to check out the links about the topics that we talked about today. But other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your own projects. And until next time, keep developing.